Hi, my name is Anthony Parse. I am a viola player in the Nashville Symphony, and I'm excited to talk to you about the upcoming chamber concert on January 28th. Um, my favorite thing to do in the world is to play in symphony orchestras because it's a big, powerful, incredible experience to have, you know, sometimes up to 100 people on stage all working together and communicating and making big, powerful, grand gestures happen. Um, but there's something really special also about not having that many people on stage. And what I mean is chamber music, playing, especially in quartets or in smaller ensembles where you're the only person on the part can be an extremely liberating and exciting uh, experience. Um, there's a lot more personal responsibility that you can place on just being able to shape your own individual part. When I'm the only person playing the viola part, as opposed to playing in the section like I normally do, um, it's a lot easier to tell when I'm deciding to do things differently or try a different color or try a slightly different phrasing than maybe I would in any other situation. It feels very free and exciting and I think that's really fun. Um, especially when you're playing with three or four other people, uh, it gets very interesting to see how much you can communicate, how many things we can decide to do within the, the context of playing this piece of music with each other. Um, it's just a very interesting experience and feels very inspiring to me and I'd love to share that with you. Especially on this program, we're playing Beethoven uh, Opus 18, number three, one of his earlier quartets. Um, to me, this is just nothing but sunshine and excitement. This is Beethoven um, still at a point in his life when there's been some strife, but uh, really communicating um, this new movement of music that he's ushering in in a very thrilling way. I mean, if I ever have to choose anything to pull out at a party or, you know, if I'm reading with friends or just want to like really sink my teeth into a piece, it's always those Opus 18 Beethovens that get me. They're just fun, exciting works and I love playing them. I'm, as a violist, it's, it's really interesting to play Beethoven. A lot of composers actually played viola in quartets or in ensembles, and Beethoven was one of them. Um, as a violist, I think it's great because Beethoven was one of the first composers to really write engaging viola parts, parts that stimulate the viola in, in um, ways that push our technique and that, that cause us to really have to, to try a lot harder, honestly, than, than his predecessors. Um, there's a certain power and uh, strength that always comes from me when I play Beethoven. In fact, to the extent that I need to remind myself to cool down sometimes because I just want to keep giving and giving. It's the sort of music that asks the performers um, to give all that they can. And I don't know many other composers that just, it's innate in the sound and the, in the music that you want to contribute as much as you can. Lastly, it's just, it's a pleasure to be able to present chamber music like this in such an amazing place as the Skirmhorn in Nashville. Having the opportunity to perform it in, in a big venue, in a resonant space, as opposed to in my living room, uh, really brings an extra level of, of joy and beauty to the, to the sound. And I'm just really excited for the opportunity to be able to share that with the audience. And it wouldn't be possible without all of the donors that really make all, all the wonderful programs of the symphony happen. So thank you.